All right, I wanted to show everybody this. I'm back at the football field again today, and um, I'm bouncing it over this spot, and we're getting 54, 62, 59, 55, 61, 65, 54, all 55 to 62, oh, little 30 there. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you what's going on here today. I open it up, and bam. Huge class ring. Holy crap. Really nice. It's another 1996. 1990. Wait, 90. 1998. Anyway, another huge find for me today. I'm going to really see if I can make one more ring out of here today. As long as I read those numbers correctly. Anyway. Okay. We got the, uh, the next find. Um, I've only gone. Let's see from the football post. 20 yards and the goal line. And so far one class ring today. And I'm only covering just the hash marks in the center today. I covered the whole right side the other day. And that's where I got the other class ring. And uh, I got the uh, class ring at about the 8-yard line here. And, and now we're at the 20. And I'm going to show you what it's ringing. This Fisher F70 so everybody gets an idea. It's reading tab. Uh, I think this is uh, white gold with some sterling silver. So that's the numbers. And there it is. Nine two five from Italy. This clasp says nine two five from Italy, but it's kind of ringing up like the gold ring did. So I'm wondering if this is a white gold, or maybe it's just sterling silver. But again, another nice find today. I think I got a piece of silver. I'm not sure what it is yet. It's 10 cents. It's a weird bouncing number, of course, but... Let's see, maybe there's something else in there, but I'm not sure what this is. sure what that is. Canadian? I think it's just a Canadian dime. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, uh, we've made it another five yards and I'm getting a nickel range, and I see something shiny. And I'll show you that again. See how bad I come back one way and I get that 30. Some ground is so wet today, numbers just are not staying solid. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that that is gold that is gold not sure what it is yet I can't my vision is crappy anyway, I definitely see a marking on the back of this thing can you see it anyway when I get home I'll clean it up and let you know all right I've gone a, quite a ways since the last time I found a piece of jewelry found a lot of coins um, then I come over to this, which is pretty much calling it a quarter. Pretty solid. But I see a ring. Nice ring. I'm 
know if you can see that in there, but nine two five. Really nice ring. Anyway, still got twenty yards to go plus the touchdown area. Just doing the center today. Tomorrow I'll come into the left hash area. Um, what a good day though. Definitely the best place to be digging in a football field is in between the hash marks at this point. Alright, I uh, got about five yards left and I hit this item here. Actually, I'm going to have to move that. Okay, 78 to 82. You wouldn't think it'd be anything much of shit, really, but. Damn, look at that. It is another class ring. 1997. I think it's a girl, it's pretty small. Yeah, it's a girl's. Her name is Char. Anyway, I, uh, another class ring. I don't believe it's from this school, though. Let's see here it's from. It is from Burnsville area. Oh, 1997 class ring. Pow! Okay, I got everything cleaned up. Um, the ring on the far left is the one I found yesterday, and then this one today, this one today, nice 14 caracol across, nice ring. This is 925, I believe these are real diamonds in here actually. It's tag on the back right in this corner right here, 925 in the little corner right there. This is 925. So anyway, what a nice find. Every one of these have initials in, or names in them. This one I've contacted somebody on Facebook to see if this is their ring. Haven't tried these two yet, but it is what it is. But I'm expecting by the time I finish the two fields that I should have six rings. Um, if not, maybe more.